Hey everyone, welcome back to another quick video in my video blogging series on all things related to Dynamics 365 and the Microsoft technologies that surround it. Today I'm going to show you how you can build your very own AP invoice OCR system for Dynamics 365, just with the tools available within Dynamics 365 Finance and the Power Platform. Before we start though, for those of you that may have just stumbled on this video and are wondering who the heck I am. I'm Murray Fife, founder of Blind School Publishing, author of the Dynamics Companion Walkthrough Guides, curators of a tinkerersnotebook.com site, and a technical specialist at a small startup that you may have heard of called Microsoft. Today we'll be looking at the Forms processor that is part of the Power Platform's AI Builder capabilities and how we can use it to create our own accounts, payable invoice OCR system that takes emailed invoices from our vendors and then imports them into the Dynamics 365 finance accounts payable system. This gives us a way to remove all the tedious work of transcribing invoices uh, from our vendors all of the time and possibly removes the chances for human error caused by manually eyeballing the invoices from the vendors and then entering them in by hand. This is very cool if you ask me. So let me show you how it works and then we can look at how we built this as well. So this is the end result that we're trying to get to. Uh, I'm in Dynamics 365 uh, Finance and I'm in the pending vendor invoices view. If I just look at some of the invoices that I've got here, then this view allows us to see the uh, invoice that we received from the vendor and also all of the invoice details that are associated with it. This is one that I did earlier on, and notice how uh, all of the vendor information has been passed on through into the pending invoice, and also all of the lines match up to what the vendor uh, sent me through email as well. <clears throat> so let's look at how this works. Now I'm going to uh, mimic the vendor by going out and uh, using Business Central to go out and create myself an invoice. So if I go into Business Central, then I'm just going to create a new invoice. And as the vendor, I can go out and look for Contoso, and I'm gonna find Contoso. I've already set up this uh, record within Business Central so that it has a email account associated with it that's going to send all of the invoices directly to us. Now, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a product and then maybe I'll get 10 Surface keyboards here. So now within Business Central, if I just go and post and send this, then I can choose where I want to send it and I want to email it and I don't want to save it to the disk and then I'm just going to save this and run. So now it's created the invoice and uh, as a vendor, I send this invoice to the vendor invoices at my tenant, and we can see the information that's coming through on the email. And I'm just going to send it. So this has uh, now ran in the background, and uh, I've got, uh, if I go down to here, and if I look at my emails, then I've got a shared uh, email account that I send all of my vendor invoices to, and we can see that this invoice has come through and it ha actually has an attachment associated with it. So if I want to open that up, then I can see the invoice that was created by the vendor. So this is, this is um, nice, to, nice to see. And then if I want to go out and look at my flows, then I've got a, a solution out here that is a, a AP invoice automation. I'm just going to do a search for that. And so I have a flow that's running and I did this just so that we can see that the invoices are starting to be processed. So we'll look at this flow in just a second and see what I'm doing. But we can actually see that this ran uh, 50 seconds ago. Now, I can go directly into Dynamics, but what I've done with this automation is I've 
uh, told the system to go out and send me a notification through Teams. So this is the invoice number that was just received in from Kronos for $5,000. If I click on view, it's going to take me directly over to the pending invoices. So if I look at this invoice that I've got, then it's, um, we'll see that now we have the invoice that we looked at before uh, for the uh, uh, Surface keyboards. We have the invoice numbers automatically being populated and also the line details have automatically been populated here as well, all through this one view. Now, also what I've done here is if I go back to my Teams, then I have inside of my Teams, I have a documents folder. And this is going out and automatically filing away the invoice for me. And it's, because it knows the vendor number and the invoice number, then it's telling me that this is the vendor that was associated with it, this is the invoice, and I could go into this at any time and look at the document directly here through Teams. So I've automated this entire process uh, through, um, through the Power Automate functions that we're going to look at in just a second. So now that we've seen how this works, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all of the different pieces that we had here for the uh, process. And now the first and the most important thing is that we need a way that we can process the invoices. Now, inside of Power, uh, the Power Platform, there is an AI builder capability that you can use that allows you to have invoices as, um, or forms processing models. If I say I want to build, then there's actually a lot of different functions that we can take advantage of, but we're just really interested in this forms processing. Now, to get this to work, what we do is we uh, give it a set of documents, and then we test it uh, or train it against the documents. Now, I can go out and uh, give it uh, at least five documents that I received from the vendor. And this is going to look at the documents and find all of the different areas that may be important. So notice here that it's gone out and it's found the line details, it's found the subtotals, um, some tax exempt information. But there's also an invoice date that I have here, but it hasn't been recognized. So I can go and I can actually draw on this document through the forms processor and say that this is the invoice date. And then I can also add additional fields if I want to. So for example, this area here is the invoice number. And this is how we go out and train the uh, process for the document management. So if I close this down, then I'm going to back up out of here and go back to the models, and I have this model that's already been generated. So if I want to, I've uh, specified different fields that are here, and then I can go out and I can upload a file from my uh, desktop. I can choose a certain file. It's going to take that invoice that I received from Kronos, and it's going to look at it, and it's going to extract all of the fields associated with it. So this is, this is the forms processing function that's built into AI Builder. So now we can see that it's uh, recognized the invoice number and a number of the other fields here. So now that we have that, what we want to do is we want to uh, look at the actual business flow. And for, to do that, I'm going to use Power Automate. Now this is a little bit, a little bit more work and we have to sort of work through the process. But I created a flow here, or a Power Automate flow, that will go out and it does a couple of things and we'll step through it. First of all, it looks for an e uh, any files that, or email messages that are sent to my vendor invoices email account. When I do that, I go out and uh, specify a default forms model. So we may have multiple vendors sending us invoices. So 
we will have different models or formats for those invoices by vendor. Now, I'm going out and I'm going to look up that email account uh, inside of my party contacts. So that will give me my, uh, my link back to my vendor. And then also what I can do is I'm going to use that party contact to find the vendor that's associated with this. So uh, all of the emails that are coming in will have different uh, uh, from email accounts, and that's how I'm going to parse all of this out. Now what I also do is I've got a link here that if I find the vendor, then the forms model that I use will be the vendor account uh, invoice processing model. So this is how I can dynamically switch between models. So this is, this is neat and this is just sort of some of the housekeeping to go out and find the vendors and initialize some of the information. Now, once I've got that, then I go out and do some other things. So this is uh, where I go out and I have to look up the model within the AI models within the common data service. That allows me to go out and predict the, uh, or process the form based off the model that I've trained for that vendor. Also, uh, once I get this information out, I have some uh, response details and that allows me to get the invoice number. Now for that, I need to do a little bit of uh, uh, expression building to grab the invoice number. And then I also build the invoice date and the due date. I now can go out and create the file and put that file directly within the team site within the files. Once I create that file, I then go out and update the invoice number and the vendor number metadata that's on that list. Then I go out and I can create the vendor invoice headers. So this is going to create the record within Dynamics and pass the information through. Also what I can do is I can parse out all the line details and create the line records based off the information that I'm getting out of the uh, table as well. I also then send an email message to the administrator to say that an invoice has been processed. Once I've got that, then I do a final step, which is to go out and import in the invoice document. So I'm going out and I'm connecting to Dynamics, I'm getting a token, so I'm authenticating here, and then I'm performing an upload that will import the function into finance and operations or finance and supply chain management. The final part here is that I'm building a deep link to that invoice and then posting it on Teams. So after I've finished running through this, then it's going to give me that link within Teams. It's actually going to use an adaptive card within Teams so that I can make it look pretty and the information comes back. So this is a how I can go out and create this import function within uh, Power Automate that will import in all of the uh, invoices for me. So how cool is that? Now when an invoice comes in, it's going to automatically pop in to uh, Teams. I'm going to get the notification. I'm going to uh, be able to proactively work on this uh, within Dynamics, and I've got full visibility of the documents all through the system. If you like this video and want to show it, then connect with me on LinkedIn. Then you won't miss any other videos that I'll post in the future. Well, that's all for today. Stay healthy and stay safe.